Librans. <laughs> um, this is the uh, Gemini season. It begins from May 21st until June 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful life. Um, positive alignment of energy. So, Gemini, let's go in and see what is happening and transpiring. So, remember, Gemini, that so, um, it is um, choosing your crystal. Um, under the crystal, you can receive the message that is going to be helping you through this Gemini season. All right. So, we see secrets. Um, secrets is going to be coming out. Some of you young ladies between the age of 18 and 45. Secrets is going to be coming out. I see um, some of you young ladies, they're going to be, it's going to be um, spying on your, um, or looking for some sort of a connection with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person and their father. And I see that um, you are going to be either letting out some sort of a secrets or over this person. Um, it doesn't have to be their father. Maybe it's your father and your sister that is a sister or brother that is a Pisces. But this is like a, um, the Casanova. So it is a man. So some of you um, liberals could have been in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. And it's as if this person has turned their backs on you and you're still trying to connect with this person and this person is not open. Um, so you are still like checking out their social media page, that sort of a thing. I see this person and their father um, is as if their father recognized what you liberals have done. So however this is coming up and transpiring, it's all about secrecy. There's a whole lot of secrecy that is happening and transpiring and it's really affecting um, um, you young ladies between the ages of 18 and 45 okay and it's about secrecy it's about secrecy coming out so if you notice this is how the energy is there is a lot of secrecy um, about you young ladies young ladies that was in a relationship with a, um, a Pisces cancer or scorpion man there's a whole lot of secrecy that has been going on and information is coming out. And I see that this person father is trying to protect them from you young ladies. Okay. Maybe it is your father and your brother that is not speaking to you. I've cut you off. Some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out about these people. Maybe it is your child, but it is the same um, this is someone who's in your same age group between the ages of 18 and 45 okay so you young ladies because I see in the fourth week a lot of you are going to be dealing with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man this man is in the reverse and I think that is a situation where this man is trying to protect uh, his child from you young ladies okay there's an older man in the picture um, what is transpiring and is happening so we have um, secrets is coming out about you young ladies between the age of 18 and 45. Okay. And uh, um, some of you, uh, some sort of a secrecy about you, um, what you did to a Pisces cancer scorpion man. Um, whoever this person is, your brother, your sis, uh, your brother or um, your partner. Some sort of a secret is going to be coming out. Okay. So here we go. The energy of the eye princess is here and the energy of the eye princess whenever this comes out ladies and gentlemen it's about um information that was kept secrecy is as if uh, some of you liberals had some sort of a secrecy um and this is the energy of, of the moon and pisces okay the moon and pisces it's about intuition it's about the pisces energy and it's about the moon so the moon is about secrecy okay so um this secrecy is going to come out so a lot of you it's about your intuition okay a lot of you some sort of a secrecy um, that is going to be released whether a Pisces is going to be finding out something what you have done or a Pisces is going to be letting people know something about you something is transpiring where a Pisces and whoever this Pisces is there because Pisces work with Neptune and Neptune is about secrecy it's about um finding out things uh it's about the intuition it's about working with your higher self 
and whatever is happening and transpiring a Pisces is going to be finding out something about you Librans some sort of a secrecy that you Librans at a whole a Pisces is going to be finding out something about you Librans some sort of a secrecy that you Librans were holding so you gotta be aware because this is the first week the week of the 21st of May until the 27th of May um, that some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out and if you know you don't have to be in a relationship with the spices the spices is going to be finding out your secrets okay whatever your secrets is a lot of you were in bondage holding the secrets okay and um, the secrets is about something where you could have um, been locked up before at uh, or at some sort of a legal uh, thing and you never told them so you could be in a relationship it could be you're in a relationship with someone else but whoever the spices because the spicy shows up in your reading also um, some sort of a secrecy as something that you never know uh, they never know about you or you never know about them but it has something to do with some sort of a time that they did and they never said anything okay a lot of you are having problems some sort of a uh, problems that you're having basically with um, being controlled by some sort of uh, outside forces okay um, that is happening because it's as if you're prisoned in your own self so a lot of you are feeling as if your intuition is too much um, whatever is happening and transpiring is as if the intuition your intuition is just too much and it's as if you are a prison in your own thoughts so that is going to be coming up and that is going to be happening to a lot of you um, in um, the week of the 21st of May until the 27th okay so you could be very intuition in this week okay uh, very very intuition your intuition could be just smart enough okay and you'll feel it all right so we're looking at the second week the second week is the 28th of uh, May until the 3rd of June 28th of May until the 3rd of June and here are you young ladies coming up or female energies but it's going to be affecting young ladies now whatever is happening and transpiring young ladies you are dealing with a whole lot of issues and this is going to be affecting people between the ages of 18 and 50 people you it's as, as, as if uh, secrets that you held is going to be coming out and a lot of you are spying on a Pisces cancer or a square pen person this person has turned their backs on you this person do not want to have any communication with you and it's as if you're driving by or checking out their their media or or you know on their telephone and that sort of a thing and you know it's very unhealthy whatever is going on that you're doing it's very unhealthy okay um, and that is it with liberals um, you, you sometimes um, you liberals have to understand that you gotta let go a situation okay um, whatever is happening whatever is transpiring this relationship or if you have to control a person by checking out um, what they're doing they're um, you know it's not healthy it's not a healthy relationship and you gotta recognize that um, you know keep on spying on someone is not going to get them back because that you push them away whenever you hold on to someone and you have to know where they are and what they're doing it, it push them away so you you gotta recognize uh, what is happening what is transpiring and you gotta understand hey um, you know I could be pushing this person away instead of uh, you know working with this person if someone turned their backs on you let it go okay if you constantly want to hold on onto this person this person is you're pushing them away because this person doesn't really want to um, deal with whatever karma 
they want to break the karma strain between you and them. And I see a lot of you are holding on, on someone, um, a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion person, and this person no longer wants to be associated with you. And it's time that you recognize this because spying and using social media and, and trying to spy on this person. And it is a sad situation because of some of you, You could have been in a relationship with this person or this person is uh, in a relationship with someone else or this person is married and it's a waste of time what you're doing because you're not investigating a situation it is a situation where someone turned their backs on you or you cannot communicate with someone else and you're trying to spy on this person to know what they're doing and where they're going and it's a situation where some of you are in love with someone that is not in love with you and don't even see you as uh, um, someone they would have been in a relationship with. And, it, you know, let it go. Let it go. Because this um, it is you um, creating a lot of unhealthy situations for you, okay? Because this person has no interest uh, in you anymore. And they have cut you loose, but it's as if you just keep on going back, um, you know, checking out their um, Facebook and that sort of a thing. It's time to let go because they're not interested, okay? And it's just going to hurt you. So, I see you could be an independent person. You um, could be an independent woman that is trying um, to have some sort of a relationship and there is someone that you're interested in. But this person, whoever this person is, they have their own life. And it's as if you are um, in love with this person. And um, you got to recognize that I, I'm getting and I'm seeing this person have no interest. And if you were in a relationship with this person, um, this person have turned their backs on you because of something. It's as if this person do not um, want to communicate anymore. And you keep on. Um, checking this person out and you got to understand this person um, is focusing on building some sort of a relationship back with their family for whatever the reason is uh, um, this person I've recognized that um, you are obsessed uh, yeah a real obsessed and um, this person is breaking. Um, it's as if this person recognized, no, um, this is obsession. And this person have uh, really, and they're going to be, if you, go, if you go on and on and on, this person is just going to blatantly just cut you off because, uh, um, you know, they, they don't want this connection anymore. Whatever the problem is and was with you, they're like, no, I don't want this connection anymore. So whatever is happening and transpiring ladies, let it go. Let it go. Okay. Let it go because um, this person has moved on. It is time to let it go. For the rest of you, I see you're going to be gaining your independence. I see a lot of you women are going to be looking at ways and means um, to um, connect yourself in a higher, a higher energy. You're looking for um, changes you're trying to make changes in your world and this is going to be good and I think that that would be a um, more um, possible um, scenario for this season to try and make changes in your world because this is the season of Gemini which is your sister sign which is going to be giving you a lot of luck okay so use it to, um, to help yourself and not spying on other people because it's not really healthy it's just a, a situation where um, a lot of you were in a relationship or a marriage with an, um, a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person and you have been constantly on this person and it's time to let go. This person has moved on. Week 3, June 4th until June 10. June 4th until June 10. Some of you, um, this Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person, is going to be finding out some sort of a secrets about you Libran and it's going to be walking away from you um, it could be you found out some sort of a secret about this person 
and they are going to be turning your, their backs on you and is going to be moving towards reconnecting and healing some sort of a problem with an older person okay this is a sad message but I still have to say it um, this situation is that some of you could be married or in some sort of a relationship with someone who is bisexual and they're going to be turning their backs on you and is going to be moving to an older man um, that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person so you could be bisexual you could be in a same-sex relationship um, and this Pisces cancer scorpion person is turning their backs on you and is going to be focusing on a older steer um, older Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person okay and um, I see that's why a lot of you women younger women are going to be um, checking out to see what is going on so yeah that's not such a very positive news but it is what it is and um, sometimes these things do happen okay and it is a situation where it could be or it is coming up for women some of you women 50 years and older could be your child some of you women uh, 50 years and younger it's your partner uh, some of you it could be a sister or brother some of you it could be a friend who has turned their backs on you this is a young man a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and they're now focusing to build some sort of a relationship or um, they could be working also against you with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person so I see they're investigating this person whoever this person is um, they're investigating a, um, a Pisces cancer scorpion man between the ages of 18 and 50 some sort of an investigation is going on um, so a lot of you Libran is this your child is this your partner is this a family member but it's, it's a man between the ages of 18 and 50 and some sort of an investigation is going to be going on over this person so um, some of you could have thrown this person under the bus and is trying to figure out whether or not this person is aware that you were the one that threw them under the bus okay so it's a really serious serious situation that is going on especially for people who are in a relationship or connect with a Pisces cancer or scorpion man as some sort of an investigation is going to be happening in the third week the week of June May yeah June 4th until June 10 so these are major issue in this season this Gemini season that is coming up for a lot of you where some sort of an investigation where they're investigating this person if you recognize this person could have broken the law um, or you liberals could have thrown this person under the bus and I see um, you could be visiting this person in jail or you were the one who give up this person and you're trying to figure out whether or not they saw you okay all right let's move to the fourth week fourth and last week it is the week of May 11th until May 20th ah June June and something is going to be happening May 11th until May 20th so uh, you liberals all right so you liberals you're working with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man whoever this man is so you're going to be dealing with this man in the week of uh, um, June 11th until June 20th and I want to say whatever is transpiring with this man um, is this your father is this your husband is this a family member uh, who is this man who is this man because whoever this man is this is Taurus so um, this is this comes up as a a businessman Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this could be your father-in-law or your partner's father-in-law but whatever is happening with these two people I see you did something to do these two people and these are family members and it's as if uh, whatever is transpiring this man is in the reverse so this could be a really deceptive businessman or you could have met this older man but this man is married and this man could be helping out some of you financial 
and I see whatever is transpiring. You might not hear anything from this man, and it's because this man is having some sort of a financial problem, and that is the reason. Okay, I see this man have to be paying out a whole lot of money. So if you are in a relationship with this person and you haven't heard anything from this person, this person could be your father, your husband, or your children' father, and you're not hearing anything. This man is having some sort of a financial problem. So this person is coming up as a friend for some of you. And this is what I said. It could be that this person helps you out financially. This person is definitely a friend. And what is happening in transpiring this person, whoever this person is, uh, is really dealing with some sort of a financial issues and financial problem at this moment. And this person is looking um, for some sort of a help or you could be waiting on some sort of a help or some sort of a correspondent from this person. But this person um, is having their own issues to deal with at this moment. So whether it's uh, um, whether it's your son, your husband, a friend, your children, father, this is coming up for some of you, Libran, as your children, father. And I see that some sort of a emotional situation is happening and transpiring between you and this person and this person have to be paying out a whole lot of money at this time so be aware of that all right so it is um you're dealing with a lot of issues in this um this gemini season a whole lot of issues in this gemini season whatever is happening and transpiring a whole lot of you are dealing with a whole lot of problem in this gemini season so be aware of this um, remember to use the link below the video in order to choose one of the crystals. Please remember to thumbs up, thumbs up, so that these these videos can pick up um, the algorithm. Um, that is the only reason to thumbs up. And um, thumbs up if you like it also. Please subscribe, set your notification buttons on. Um, it is a powerful season because your sister sign the Gemini's it's their season so be aware of this I do love you guys I gotta go but I'm saying namaste until next time enjoy